Greetings YouTube and welcome to Bubble Hearthing, your righteous retreat to some casual hearthstone, where we will be completing our domination with the druid or rogue. Or rogue, here we go. We're gonna flip the coin, of course. It's my trusty buffalo nickel, because I got it from the supermarket and I was like, wow, look at that. Okay. So I guess just because of order, we'll say heads is the druid, and tails or, or buffalo is the rogue. There's the flip. And rogue it is. Alright, let's see if we can get cold blood. Let's see how cold blooded we really are. You ain't nothing but a cold blooded killer. Hmm. I was just thinking, it's like cold blooded. That'd be interesting to think, like, you know, a killer that is actually cool, doesn't show up on, like, thermal imaging. It's like, oh, wait a minute. I feel like something, some some game. Valera, so I already thought about this. Jaina. Just some capacity. They've it. already you used that concept. And then Call of Duty. Okay, so, uh... Not really very good. Decent. You're okay. I have removal. This is basically a handful of removal. Jungle Panther says to get, do four damage and then die. Uh, you, on the other hand, are very promising against a major less Mega Moth. Okay, am I supposed to yell at Mega Moth? Sorry, I, I believe that's how I'm supposed to say your name. Hmm. Options are hero power, and just kill the thing, or backstab, and then play a fairy dragon. Rather not backstab. Especially because I can backstab next turn if you have to play something that has more attack. Not more attack, more defense. If it has three. I mean, hell, if it has one, two, three, four, five, I can kill it? Yeah. I can kill it with five. Three, look at that. Okay, totally gonna backstab that. And then play my dragon. Oh, I lied. I'm playing the dragon first. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. no. Undamaged minion. Oof, one time I messed that order up and I was like, well, I'm salty. And I wanted some fries with that salt. Just, just saying. Okay. Now what can you do? The funny thing is, if you only have fairy dragons, like Cone of... No. Pyro? No. Flame Strike. Really? We'll see here. Okay. Um... Uh, let's see. Do I want to drop the Jungle Panther? It's not a bad idea. There's no real reason to play the Taz Dingo, necessarily. The only downside is that turn 5 I might want to play the Ventrico, and then Taz Dingo is going to cost a lot more. 5, and then turn 6 I can actually play this. So, let's do this. For mana curve reasons. Because then turn 5 is Ventrico, and then Jungle Panther actually turns into turn 6, and then you have... Eh, maybe I should have played the Panther. <laughs> maybe. Who knows. You get options. Y you do what you do. Uh, let's see, though. I can kill it. Without damaging my, my creatures too much. I guess I'll have to throw this out, too, just because... There we go. And hit you in the face. Of course, I've taken a decent amount of damage in all this. Which isn't exactly my favorite point of rogues. Sure, rogues are great, but they're gonna take a lot of damage to the face. And it's not even like warriors who have plenty of weapons. They take a lot of damage. And then, you know, they have armor to back it up. I mean, heck, even armor smith is worthy of mentioning, but, hmm, I think the best play here is to take some more damage from my face. I think that's what I want to do. Here we go. And with six mana, let's try to pull a polymorph out of this one. Let's see if we can just get a polymorph, uh, Fire Blast combo. Sorry, Pyroblast. No. Fireball. Fire Blast. Okay. I keep forgetting the progression of this and it kills me. Why? 
misplay much? I I don't I don't know. I really don't understand. We're gonna play the Storm and Champion. Because it's immune to flame strike and because people live now. Instead of just anything being all well, anything except you, my marvelous fairy dragon, which has survived through the ages. Um Yeah, it helps to survive from the hero power. It basically nullifies the Narcan explosion. Yeah, you're totally gonna target that with your boulder for Stoger. Alright, good game. Well played, my friend. And you know what? We're gonna use you because you were you were really a great person right here. You were a fantastic dragon. Alright. So there we go. That's how we make some gold. Alright. We're gonna be putting some of that towards I think an arena. I think an arena is the way to go. Yeah, especially because we have just about a thousand. I think we win one more game, we have a thousand gold. Cool. So thank you for joining me on uh, Bubble Hearthing. And uh, I hope you enjoy uh, the videos and such. Uh, thank you for, for all the views I've been getting. They've actually been more now, recently. And I appreciate that. Fantastic. Please keep it coming. I'll keep the content coming. And until next time, uh, this is Bubble Hearthing, signing out.